ni bayi e je kin sari pe eni ti o ma tun ba wa soro lori oro ba se ma tun ile nigeria to distinguished ladies and gentlemen that on the next speaker uh bale emabo please put your hands together ladies and gentlemen for ale adekunle olaya akinse mo yin iseju mera la fun yin e se bo e ka ro gbogbo omo odua good morning everybody my brothers and sisters um awale ni a se ran ti ore wa omo wa egbon wa aburo wa dipo yes the last speaker said he laid a very good foundation for the dump commission and they did a very good work but what is the next stage is the same thing like restructuring the restructuring has so many definitions urisirisi ona la won yan gba fi pe but restructuring of pisi meji restructuring like the former speaker said dated back to 19 around 1957 pre 1957 because igba yen ni awon baba wa joko ti a ma ba won fulani se fulani awsa ti a ma ba won igbo se and on the basis of the agreement they had at that time they went to that union called nigeria but i always call it niger area because i can say nigerians niger area people niwa gbogbo wa jijo wa nbi kan na tolohun pin wa si ni we don't have a choice of where we come from but we have a choice of what we can become with your determination I always tell people before you call me a Nigerian I'm a Yoruba man I'm a being a Nigerian or a Yoruba man I'm first and foremost a prince a high prince from Lagos Island Mi o kin se asawo Mi o kin se tenant to dolohun nkan to nse le nsin ni e nigbati awa kere I was proud for being a Yoruba man. I was proud for being a Yoruba man. These days I'm ashamed of being a Yoruba man. You find all kinds of people in cultist activities, cultism. Ile Yoruba o mo e pe kan ma jale until after the civil war. To le ba wa ngba yan le pepepe ni. After the civil war, la bere si ton so yan mo gi. I could remember that of um, Babatunde Folonjo which was the very first go on go gbe aga wa joko se ti okun o ba firing squad but these days it's a normal thing ni adugbo wa ka kire nsin amari to ma gbe to ma gbe to ma ma ewe du won bi igba to oja ewe du olonjo hemp cocaine we have been bastardized our culture has been turned upside down and the structuring means going back to the pre 57 days i come from an organization called ataeshe every year we remember pa obafemi alowo because it was that time that man declared self rule in yoruba land and self rule here yeah, no lead way for other regions to start chasing him the man built coco house built western house built liberty stadium they did not use billions in those days now we are using trillions and trillions wa o se titi apo awon yan lo nlo ladies and gentlemen there comes a time in the life of a man you have to decide whether you will die wretched or you die raising your head up i'm not saying you die rich when you are going to die and you are contented that yes i have done a good thing in life you go and meet your god and confront your god god i have done good things in life but when you are not sure of yourself one man noel ataye lo so run ni yeah i'm sorry i could remember 
Shortly before Papa Simeon Adebo died, I was a journalist then. I went to interview him. The man was almost shedding tears. He asked me, where did we go wrong? We did everything for this. That was then. We did everything for this country. Where did we go wrong? The same thing happened just some few days to the Lenten season, the, the Christians just concluded. There was a man, Pa Benedict Baba Tunde Ogundikpe, eh, Ogunlano, fellow parishioner at the Catholic Church, Holy Cross. The man gave me an appointment to meet him on that Sunday. At 93, this man was still walking from his house, about two kilometers away from the church. Oh man, he lost the church. Oh man, he lost the church. Ile ja konde to wa ni phase 4 ni bi a den je lo ngbe okay pada pata lo ngbe mama baba e ma climb lo so ke ni that particular sunday i missed the man because i live in badagri with my family i left badagri at 6 o'clock i got to 8 o'clock mass but i didn't see the man not knowing the man was there they told me that when this man got home he just sat down on the chair and he started shedding tears i want me bi pe baba ki lo sele the children didn't know the man was passing on. The man sat on that chair and that was the end. Many years later, and that was how the man died. And a lot of old people have done that. Because I am privileged. I had a privilege of seeing some part of those good old days and look at what nigeria has become now there is only one way to do it determination restructuring is about knowing that we are going back not being carried away by the allures of the paraphernalia of officer and rinsing let us go back to the basics two strategies ni you can't win jamilaya the two strategies left for us are these. It's either we have a mass revolt, a revolution, which was almost happening during Bashagari's era. I want to buy more cotton shelling Bashagari. I want to pay, I want to yachting one new shop, one geo, one jingle call, one building jet, one jardin new shop, and one day into the shop go about. It happened, I witnessed it. The mass revolt, the barbere. The other option is to beg our political functionaries, called Joe, and his colleagues have done a good thing with the commission. They have shown us those good things we can benefit from in the Southwest. Like I said, any good government will see into it. But how do we move forward? AJK have come together. Kaka on political functionaries wa kosu wa kwa kwa let us organize a referendum. A good referendum if our people like uh, the Scots toba se pa mwofe then fine. But if our people say to your territory of Israel we are not saying we are living in Niger area along to Dawasi B we are going to cohabit with them no we will make laws yoruba but to my benefit i'm a state authority oh i'm a governor today i must put my brother there to succeed me no let us look at it dispassionately which is we go through a referendum decide that yes we want a self-determination now an autonomous independent regional government let me tell you today as of today we have more than 175 full and settlements in Yoruba land go and check Teba magumo sai kule ni omo asalo magbe yin teba marata omo asalo matafun yin teba ma se mi 
Yad go jade nu ya re ko bose nu gate o ma o sa lo wa lenu gate e ta ba sora e lo ka isri fulani jihad won wa giving us islam won wa won se pa won joko ninu ebutu nigba to ma jije is okay won so wa won de wa mole ni to ba je ki yen happen le ni you and i will run health as kelta we have nowhere to go god bless us I should go on your web back, but I won't want to let you see. Uncle, I can't see more demon. No, can't answer me. Come back to your tea, so rock by fair tonto. I'm a command down liar. One year, I want to answer a tonto. I want fed that Nigeria room. Go sing for Tony Jebe. I tune to go near shaking you. A ship, a full line later. Well, let me quickly call. Mr. Rewan Balogun. Well, from the perspective of youths, can you really tell us maybe what we need to be doing that we're not doing to advance the whole idea of restructuring? We have had definitions, explanations, what restructuring is or what it should be. But we have a caro, a yin babami, a yin mamami, a boati, a buru, a caro, a yin rao to do a kini restructuring. A structuring be pay ili babati for a fetum to a ya wo iru building ye buy. We are only leaking beacon. A beaming or to do barrow on drops you are loading beacon. A fe dia one be to the foreign restructuring. Restructuring in English is the we, is the increase or decrease in component parts of a structure to bring about better development and better performance enhancements. So in a nutshell, kini oye kashita tishi. My first thing will be education. Bugwa wata ambi bugwa lani ide ngote kashin pa restructuring. But one way or the other, we haven't been able to do this. Okwawanle, our touch and being seen, our feka on more so Yorubanle, and this is killing us on the gradual. Question: Restructuring Timofe Kashins in Kakwadasili, the legacy our fathers left for us is education, and some people are outside there. Out of one thousand, there are about hundred million people outside there. Tion in education, those are the people we have to talk to. Those are the people whose minds have to be touched. Now, restructuring. We have to go back to local government autonomy. It's very important. As much as possible, we've had government that, have, that, that has decimated everyone. We have government that have left us befuddled and wondering what we should do about the future. It means in Tibashiton University, I'm not sure where I will work yet. That's where Nigeria is. As a matter of fact, restructuring town sorry, you know, when she pick out that we rule no, a jekan in cotton Nigeria in the same using the Yoruba as the blood of Nigeria. What Nigeria is to Africa, Yoruba is to Nigeria and the world. There are many people outside there, doctors, engineers, who I will rightly tell you are Nigerians. Today, there are 440,000 medical doctors in the US from Nigeria. And I'm quite sure over 400,000 of those are Yoruba men. Ewola Morino. When we structure Nigeria, these are the minds we need to come back home. Using education as a way forward. Education is the best legacy. Yoruba de sokwe omota abako agbele takota. Ile taninsin wanti ingbeta already. Ndore akwa omowa. On the perspective of the youth, there are much more people willing to go into cyber crime than youth willing to help their country. If you ask a boy of my age today to come here and speak, the first question he will ask you is, what has Nigerian done for me to spend two or three hours sitting and listening to people to work for them? This is where Nigeria is. The government of every Nigerian state, especially Yoruba state, which is known or are known to be the, the legacy of education, must go back to the schools and restructure those schools, rebuild those schools, Restructure mindsets. 
shouldn't be sitting on keg of gunpowders because soon I might explode. We are on the path of implosion if we continue like this as Nigerians. We have to decentralize our resource base. Oyo, Oshun, Ekiti, Ogun, Ondo, Ogua, and Dependeko. Take Oyemba Tonleni. Can every state ask themselves, Kilamaje, take Oba Tonleni? If we restructure Nigeria today, Kini Ekiti Maje, simplicity. I need everything was simple. Tin and Jia Bawa restructured Leni Kini on Domaje, Eko and Continuing Gotomaje. Lagos can fend without the government. They are doing fine. Last year, their internal generator revenue for the year was 310 billion. December alone, they made 50 billion naira. State mill alone making in one year. Till by see government Leni, Kini Ogun State Maje. These are the questions we must ask ourselves. I want to talk about the show help, show matoa. Comfort breeds complacency. That's why you are comfortable. You are not going to get cash. See, our banya or government, this gov, this central power, don't fall on kini, don't bring heads in at every point in time. Can we stand on our own? We, as a Yoruba nation, as a Yoruba race, can we stand on our own? She are not going to get cash. Ejeka rope or shui sin abi or shui mefa. Guari kon sokpo onfun gogo state lo mo. A way a protest to my go on the streets. These are the things we have to sit down and think about. It's not all about salary. You shouldn't be dependent for only on the government. The government will never do everything. Ogun State, Lagos State, Oshun State, Ekiti State must look within and bring out their best products. The best product of any nation are the brains it has. Human capital development is very, very important. And we don't have one now. They are building their brains. Dubai, they don't have many people. 80% of the people living in Dubai are foreigners. Only 80% of the people good mental structures, engineers, medical doctors. Those are the ones championing their cause. The US today, Bill Gates came here and told us we need to build our human capital development. It's very important. Go back to schools. Let's dig out, let's dig out the crucibles and bring the children to the level they should be. Go to those primary schools, secondary schools. Today, there is no school sports program, no debating competitions, no WAEC, NECO. Some of us here, I put it to us, we challenge you. I want to go and be to more and more, we special center. We want to go to pass WAEC. We want to pass jump. At the end, we build faulty minds. We build filthy minds. We build on Nigerian Nigerians. Yoruba and build on Yoruba to a Yoruba spirit. Naturally, a Yoruba is demonic. Demon in Yoruba eh, on long drive Nigeria. Demon man pushing on It's pushing us to the promised land. That's who you, an average Yoruba man should be. There are government parastatals here. I want us to go back to the drawing board. This drawing board is very, very normal now. It's commonly said. But there is a drawing board in our minds that I want us to go back to. Let's go back there, restructure our education. I'm a champion of education. I came here to champion education. Education is the baseline of a developed mind. It's the, it's the, it's the first thing we have to do to make sure things are put in place. I want to be your Polokwa law school. I want to want to be a majority law school. And we are the majority. We are all minority here. I want to be decided to win election by votes casted. But I want to want to decide here. These are the things we have to Those are the people we have to touch. There are 10.5 million Nigerian kids that are not in primary schools. But those 10.5 million, there is a kid you see outside there selling rice, beans. There was a particular morning, Timon Law, And I saw another one about 10 years, Tom Kiri, rice, 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 and I felt this is a future arm dropper if care is not taken. Orphanier, they had the hard robbery that killed, that 17 people were killed. Those people, I'm sure, don't have jobs. Those people, I'm sure, might not have gone to school. The youths I see here today look fresh, probably with employment. There are many people out there who don't have employment. I don't join Niger Delta Avengers. I mean, Yoruba and Niger Delta Avengers. 
Ah, ni buku aran bo ala on oli. Ala on oli ade ni thugs. These are the people disturbing our peace. If you don't send these people to school, we have lots of problems. Now, sorry, give me some minutes. Now, the things we have to do again is today I'm impressed for one reason, because not just restructuring. I saw destructuring here, but in Mujoko for about 30 minutes, more expect because we. A particular person is the chairman of the occasion. But I didn't hear that. So it means we don't have a chairman here today. And that has made everyone here much more comfortable because there is inclusivity. Everybody feels included. That today here we are on the we are all on a particular level. So I want Baba Miati, Mama Mitozi Soro saying they've said it all. Thank you and God bless us all. I should go on you about a full letter, what that I should go on you. Habib, Ola Likon, Hamid, Baba Soro, Nishoki, or she will have a letter. Good morning, everybody. Moki, I want Baba, I want Yawa, Tibugo, and it's all in Kale. Or Lori, a total restructuring. To a layman, what is restructuring? It means. To change the way a system is organized. Now, when we are talking in, of restructuring in Yoruba lands, is the evolution of the excessive and concentrated powers at the centre to give room for true and fiscal federalism and regional elect autonomy to ensure one rapid social economic development, standard of improved standard of living, and then per capita income. Now, what we should do is that we should make sure that the issue of restructuring is known to everybody. The reason why we are agitating for restructuring should be known to everybody. Some do not know why we are agitating for restructuring. Why are we agitating for restructuring? It's because of two things. One, insecurity. There is no doubt Nigeria is presently in a state of unrest due to the terror unleashed by two of the world's most deadliest terrorist organizations, Boko Haram and Fulani militants. According to a report by 21st Century Wilferburg Initiative and Stephanos Foundation based in the United States and Nigeria respectively, Boko Haram ranked as the number one most deadliest terrorist organization followed closely by the Fulani militants who are placed behind ISIS and al Qaeda that are first in the global terrorist index. Although Boko Haram insurgents based in the Northeast, but full and militant work has escalated across Nigeria. They kill, maim, rape, kidnap, and destroy farms by allowing their cattle to eat up farm produce. At times, they deliberately set farm ablaze. A lot of our unemployed youths in Yoruba land that venture into to farming have been recorded loss instead of making profit. They are already frustrated. Number two, bad governance. Our people are suffering due to lack of workable policies, lack of commitment by government, and pol policies implementation. Nepotism, corruption, abuse of human rights, lack of transparency, lack of res responsiveness and accountability. Since the inception of civilian government in 1999, the system has been characterized by corruption, crime, impunity due to high level of concentration of powers at the center. Since the governing system is highly centralized, a very small number of people dominated by dominated the system, which led to unequal distribution of resources, unemployment, lack of adequate health facility, underfunding and poor standard of living and poverty. There is no transparency in accountability and accountability. They make decisions according to their wishes and admissions without considering well being of the masses. Now, I want to get Oloriwa. Baba, any council like that? When I want to get in Kalumani, one B. We there landing, bang bang, back or okay. When we are there, answer. Odo doni. So when I go when we there, answer. I want Kanto to get in Kanto to get to get Kabam Bere for Toto. In the week we I say to Abu. Let me I say to Abu. He said, Joba Buruku, thank you, bad governance. Eric Payne, see ye. 
are awon are wa won lodo lazy nigba won si mo pe generation won ti fail already won wa shift the blame lori awa youth probably he was referring to ninja data youth who are collecting salary without delivering any service probably he was referring to alimanjiri people who are begging to eat but there is no lazy youth in yoruba land <laughs> provided government has done the needful there will be no youth restiveness in ninja data provided government has done the needful there will be no alimanjiri millions of alimanjiri in north an average illiterate fulani has no job rather than to moving car to around the idle s men are have now become rapists terrorists kidnappers and armed robbers it is our leader that that has failed our the generation of our leaders has failed us that is why we are clamoring for instructioning provided after 1967 coup provided the nigeria has been running in peacefully as expected provided we have have on uh, we have employed youth provided we have infrastructure and stable power supply we are not going to be clam claim clamoring for destruction now we will have been satisfied with the federal system of government with the present structure but because we discover that the present structure does not work that is why we are we want to restructure it tilebada to rewa to se kila monica to kosi to ni go ba ti gbo ale ni ka tun ko olo o to ni ale ni ka o tun mo si pe ijo ijo ba ta n lo lowo ti gbo o ti ni lo ka tun tun to ka tun tun se awon yo boss we kini kan won ni ihun igba o to lo bi o rere ko si si nkan to duo soju kan change is inevitable we must change this structure now agriculture we always say is our father's job or is our job in yoruba land is no more our job in yoruba land go to north they are farming like like anything they have fry, plenty rice rice farmers we 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 are buying beans from north now when you go to bodija market ask them where they are getting the pepper they go to sasha to buy it from our people the alu the, the onion we have in yoruba it's not enough for our consumption we have to travel far to north to get onion so we have to go back to agriculture my colleague has spoken and he has spoken well he, he said told us the need the reason why we must go we must go back to education why we must improve our education the standard of education but we must also look to agriculture sector no matter what the resources we have in yoruba and when we are talking of tinka land we are talking of airport and others without agriculture they are nothing without agriculture they are nothing we must, we must make sure we encourage our youth to venture into agriculture to take agriculture as their business if not we can we can regret it now bwari the president of nigeria said that nigeria youth are lazy are we lazy youth no but because our leaders are too comfortable that is why they talk too much they are for their children schooling abroad why our children here our youth here are selling pure water in order to raise money to pay their school fees go to top gate you see them selling plantain chips they will wake up 5 a.m in the morning they will go and sleep by 12 a.m are they lazy if we are looking for lazy people probably we are going to look for some almanjiri in the north that is where we can easily find lazy people people that do not want 
They do not want 5,000 naira. And when they see their president, they will be saying, Say, Baba. Those are lazy youth. We are not lazy here. Now, for us to give this climate, the climate for restructuring a popular and massive support, we must make sure we go to iron solutions to tell them the reason why Nigeria must restructure. The, what they will be, we must tell them what they will benefit from restructuring. We have to go to marketplaces to tell them the reason why Nigeria must be restructured. We must invite the artisans, the Okada riders, the union, union members, road transport workers. We must make sure they are sensitized. We must give them the needed orientation so that when they ask an average Yoruba man that what is restructuring, he or she will be able to tell them what restructuring is. But, but now it's like only Yoruba leaders are talking about restructuring. Only Yoruba leaders. When you go to Barak market and you, are tell, you tell them about restructuring, they will say what concerns them is to sell their goods. They don't know what restructuring is. But we must make sure we carry everybody along. It's not that we say, ah, election will not, will not come out in a particular state if you don't restructure. To, sabo, hello, to boycott election is simple. But I don't think it is good enough to use that strategy. What does it take to sabotage election? To boycott election. Now, there is Boko, that goal, there is Boko Haram in the north. 80% of our youth are serving here. They are serving in the south. People from south, uh, southern Nigeria are serving. 80% of them are serving in southern Nigeria. Just tell your, your children or your daughter that is serving. When it is the day to election, don't go to INEC office. Don't in ele on the election morning, don't go to INEC office. They'll be expecting them. We do, don't see them. Everything has been... Flop. Everything will flop. Tell your neighbor, go and register with INEC. Register for the sorting officer. Register as a sorting officer. Go, go and register as one of their officers. On the election day, ask them to sleep at home. Everything will flop. So, to sabotage election. In fact, when we sit down, we can think of 10 ways through which election can be boycotted. But don't let us think of that for now. But there is way. So Abasu Kangiri. Abasu Kangiri. On me ke me ti yoka we lost for do. Ole fwa log mata lo ti bugo fito. Moki yi. Ose o. Ose o. Ogbeni. Habib. Olalekon. Hamed. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your patience. Let me kindly ask people on this side of the hall to return to their seats while I bring up another set. Um, I'm out where I'm going Untori di e yi, e jwa mo gba wa ni yon ju mo bè wa e jeka shi, shoki, shoki, shoki. Po gbe yon nan ni, wan fè son kan, wan fè da solo yi. Chouban, a bè yi, e jeka shi ni shoki, shoki. Ka lek pe ya wan, ya wa, baba wa, wan to wan di nan. Kon li ba wa da si, shoki, shoki, chouban. Ka to pe wan, ma kokok pe, a wan min nan, ti wan ba wa solo ni bi. Ni shoki, ka to wa si, eh, akpa bi. Let me quickly ask the Honorable Commissioner for Education, representing Governor Ajimobi, to please come to this side of the hall. Please put your hands together for him. <laughs> Honorable Luwofela, thank you very much. Let me also invite Ashiwaju Adeyinka Belu Olari Oye, if he's here. Chief Adeni Akinta if he's here. Barrister Dotun Hassan. Then Festus Ogun, please let them come to this side of the hall. Thank you very much. As I said, we're going to come to this, um, to the well of this um, chamber to recognize people 
to contribute to the discussion. Okay, whilst they are trying to make their way here, let me quickly call on Honorable Olobo Fela, Commissioner for Education, representing Governor Ajimobi. Please put your hands together for him. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm here to represent His Excellency, the Governor of the State. So, I will just read his remarks so that the colloquium can continue. Many eminent personalities have been identified here, but permit me to still recognize Mrs. Sibiru Nkefa Makinwa, the wife of the personality that we are celebrating today, and Sheye Oyele, that's the DG Down Commission, Dr. Adi Adi Agbu. DG Yoruba Academy. Uh, we also like to recognize Dr. Akeola, who has come to represent Ogbeni, Arek Beshola, the governor of Oshun State. The leader of uh, APC, Zona Secretary, is here, Chief Ayua Falabi. I have to recognize you, sir. And uh, our Odua conglomerates, the MD is here which is Mr. Adiwale Raji. Let me also recognize all the earlier speakers and those who will speak after uh, I read Governor's address. I recognize all of you and distinguished ladies and gentlemen that are here and members of the uh, press. Dikpo uh, Fama Kewa Koloku, an initiative of Down Commission Yoruba Academy and Afeniferi Renewal Group aims to extol the remarkable contributions of a quintessential Yoruba man, late Oladipo of Amakinwa, 1967 to 2017, who committed his time and energy to the social economic integration of the six states of Western Nigeria via the development and adoption of a common regional agenda. In his lifetime, Deepo brilliantly envisioned remaking Western Nigeria a space and a place of good governance and global competitiveness through economic, social, cultural, and ethical reorientation. Deepo's contribution to the strategic and tactical rethink of Western Nigeria had been instructive and pivotal. To pay tribute to and sustain the memory and good work of an individual of such repute is fundamentally apt. This event will mark the lifetime of a remarkable individual and acknowledge the indelible imprint of his acts and thoughts of the Yoruba nation. Mr. Famakewa's ideas were targeted at developing our people and space. He was successful in his private enterprise and he could have stayed privately to enjoy his labor, but he literally abandoned his business and threw himself into a course to agenda good governance in Nigeria. The first edition of the Deep of Amakima Colloquium is being organized by the Don Commission, Yoruba Academy and Afeniferi Renewal Group. The team is restructuring, ending the talk and starting the work. The biennial events has to immortalize the memory, vision, and ideas of Mr. Famakewa, the pioneer director general of Don Commission, who passed on April 21st, 2017. And what are the objectives? To chart a course for the future and safeguard the destiny of the Yoruba people whilst pre preserving the health of the Nigerian Federation. The Deep of Famakewa Colloquium aims to serve as a democratic and thought-provoking space to raise pertinent governance questions in search for a truly federal construct for Nigeria. The purposeful transformation of Yoruba land 
is not realizable within the current Nigerian constitutional and political arrangement. It is hope that Yoruba nation will be guided by good judgment to acknowledge the urgent need to look at our future through a prison untainted by selfishness and short-sightedness. What are the thematic of the focus? Within the next context of United Federation of Nigeria, democratic processes should be built around such fundamental values as one, sovereignty of the people, respect for human rights, equal political, social, and economic opportunities for all citizens, equity, justice, and fair play as ethical values of politics and national unity, transparency and accountability as the basis of governance. These values are non-negotiable and form the bedrock for nation building. For these values to be given expression in the Nigerian nation, the structural defects and deficiencies of the political construct of the nation must be addressed as expressed by popular consensus of the people through the following but not limited to one renegotiation of Nigeria Federation, two organizing for regional actions, three mobilization of regional endowments and assets, four optimizing the space for development through the regions to achieving sustainable growth in Nigeria. Five, fiscal federalism. Six, decentralization of Nigeria. In concluding, most Yoruba people want a Nigeria that operates as a properly managed modern country, a land of order, law, freedom, justice, progress, science, technology, opportunity, competitiveness, productivity, and prosperity. The kind of country that all Yoruba people desire and want, that is that nation that we desire. Noting that we have a tradition and record of protecting democracy and striving for progress, having invested in Western education much earlier and deeply than any other Nigerian national team, the Yoruba people have expended considerable resources and capabilities to help orderly progress and prosperity in Nigeria. The Yoruba nation, with a coherent vision and cohesive force, agitate, push, and ensure the actualization of its development and aspiration. Thank you, and God bless you. So that is the remarks of His Excellency, the Governor of the State. I just read it on his behalf. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Commissioner. Please, another round of applause for him. Gomi no wala on risi atunto Nigeria. Eba wa fun wala tewo. Gomi no ikmile o yo. Nibita wa yi. Abi ola jima bi. Wala on na fi o wo si pe. Ani lo la ti itun Nigeria to. To ri pe kini. Tori, she mo kwa yoruba. Ah, ah, kimu yon si yo. Ah, de fe ni kokon, ah, fe ke ni kokon ko she ki ni. Komo wa sin. E joba mo ni sin, Latin ni ni Nigeria, Latin 1966. So, governor wa no, wala wong fo wo si. Le kon no, le kon si, eba wak pate wo fun wo. Yi se ti wong fi ron, komisyon awa ni yo. Let me quickly invite Mrs. Ade Yinka Delo Olari Moye. If you want to know. I'm standing on a 16 protocol. You have to permit me. I'm not, you know, the part of Yoruba that you can call Yoruba proper. I'm an Akoko and I've been thoroughly, you know, um, abused, not abused, you know, kind of, remi I mean, reminded that Kobo Kobo, because the Yoruba we speak there, that is the Babel of um, the world. Our Yoruba is, I, I, I'm, I'm not very good in Oyo Yoruba, 
we started having the issues of um, who we are, identity, a means of um, restructuring. Because the religions we have to take, especially the Western type, Christianity, the first uh, person who actually, you know, helped in uh, translating the Bible actually referred to a divinity in a, in a, I mean, using, just opposing it in the Jewish, you know, personification of the devil, Eshu. You know, and that is why we should start from addressing who we are. Within the Nigeria space, cultures were merged together. It was a marriage of Incon yes, a totally inconvenience. It's not, you know, favoring any part of the, uh, of the nation. And um, the first speaker who spoke about the late um, Mr. Dipo Famakinwa actually made such, you know, statement that actually brought about this agitation for restructuring. He actually said um, Nigeria has three people, I mean three peoples, right, in groupings now, three nationalities, and I know exactly where he was driving at, and that is Yoruba, Igbo, and Aousa. But that is not uh, the truth. If we have to say the truth here, is the fact that Nigeria is made up of several nationalities, many ethnic groups, and three are dominant. And that's three, you know, that are dominant are actually, you know, sharing the resources among themselves. Those who want, who think they have the hen that uh, laid the golden, the golden head that laid the golden eggs, were apparently seem to be, you know, out of that um, physical you know, um, sharing of our monetary wealth. And it's true. We should ask questions. We solely depend on oil. Many of the speakers, I prepared a speech, I talked about it, that I would talk along this line. But listening to the first set of um, speakers made me want to just, you know, change all the I mean, I should just make comments on what they are, because there is nothing to hard to it. The first speaker, the woman who spoke first, actually did justice. In fact, the women have done very well. In fact, I'm proud to be a woman today. And despite our president thought that Nigerians, I mean, youths are not working, that they are lazy, today I'm proud to say that like, the Yoruba youths actually are working and they are here and they pushed for you know those agenda the agendas that can help you know restructure the nation and especially to focus on the yoruba nation because these are nations in nation and what brought about restructuring is most i mean most importantly is the federal the federalism we seem to say we are practicing. And that federalism has a way, the most um, thought, the thinker on federalism that I know, Casey Wells, had always positioned that the power distribution must come from states to the federal, not, you know, other way around. And we are not practicing it here. So I can't call Nigeria a federal state. Is not federal. Now, I just want to quickly say this, that to be Yoruba is to understand the philosophy of the Yoruba as a people. It is not only for us to gather and continue to speak grammar, to talk and then continue to talk, I think we need to take this to the public space, to the Yoruba space. Where is the Yoruba space? Is the market where the women are. 
among the youth, like the last speaker said, among the partisans, because we know what restructuring means. Those that want that should be able to be instrumental to, you know, propagating restructuring don't understand it. Oftentimes you say restructuring and the next thing is how does that concern you? Or some people will say, oh, well, they want um, they want us to divide. They want to divide the nation, which is not true. I thank God that we are able to actually conceptualize restructuring in the Yoruba word, which is atunto. The point is that we need a serious, in fact, a radical, you know, approach to to get ourselves back in this nation. We have gone astray. And the Yoruba are the people that will do it because they've been always doing it. Before now, they've done it. They've been doing it right from the um, creation story. We have, know we have myths in all cultures. And the myths of the people will actually tell you what the philosophy of those people have. Is the fact that you will take, you have to go to the women back. We are going back to our women. Because I'm a gender person, I discuss women a lot. We are going to go to the women. The, the seventh person happened to be a woman or shun. Well, but or daily aye, one bear is in she shell or one she shell or one a one no. Oh, bring it over late to a larry while you could shower. Oh, bring me last on last on. At your own go as yet to yato, chill a year gas in wide you. Petali rain on with the lay. Won't why she a woe. Won't feel less egg by one she or be more she more. Oh, not seeing woe on by. But can you call and she for one? Oh, pack up a long way lay. Bow and she shall love one by Jim. But she ain't shall love none by Jim. But so you are so ring or cause you are for the lobolo to marry. A lay in your telephone while you are carrying or conscient. Ah, kill or shelly. Oh, no, I can call that the mumora. Ninu le Yoruba obirin se pataki gan te ba fe ki oro restructuring ni yanju obirin la ma kopo awon market women our mothers they are not as educated they are not psychedelic like we are they may not speak big grammar but they can internalize it they can indigenize it won o ma so ni ede ti a gbogbo eyan ma mu a je ye won awon lo ndiboju te ba so pe e fe dibo ni ni ti pe Yoruba o ni dibo the bad man will be remote corner when no show she will put a jack paper she should do no ah ring or come back more on to pay my mommy to joke or see me by you what for the governor ni do me back on your own do this you know what you will read me by all do me come with the governor but i won't be ring for an hour it just is a ton that is me pay a bar look to you i'll be right there while collecting or come we should somebody raised three pertinent questions. He said what is restructuring? Atimo. Be atunto. Atunto long pe ni restructuring. What differences would restructuring make? It will make a lot of differences. We will be able to answer questions that had raised the issue of restructuring. It's obvious that we have issues to settle. We have so many reasons to come together to discuss our future. The future of the youth that have been labeled in the world is very important. We are going to go. These people will remain. And it is important for us to make sure we channel a part before we depart. How do we move forward? We have three ways to move forward. Atunto, number one. Atunto, number two. Atunto, number three. Atunto, the other way. Only restructuring can resolve it. Thank you very much.
I'd like to quickly call on Mr. Festus Ogun. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Nigeria is a country surrounded by drama. Dramas. We see different dramas every day. Two days ago, it was the stealing, uh, the stealing of the mace in the National Assembly. Yesterday, we were all insulted that the youths are lazy and uneducated by our president. But in all, for a few years now, we've seen that one recurring issue is all going in the country, and that is the issue of restructuring. We are all clamoring for restructuring, even though many of us don't know what it means to restructure. We see that those given the opportunity in the past to restructure the country are even coming up agitating for restructuring. The truth is, Nigeria is a federation without federalism. Nigeria is a federation without federalism because too much power has been concentrated in the hands of the federal government. And in a federalism, powers ought not to be concentrated in the hands of the federal government. And that is why we see that our states are not developed. And when you get to Abuja, you think you are in another world. Our states are not developed because too much power has been concentrated in the hands of the federal government. If this is the case, if Nigeria will develop, if we are to meet the development we are all craving for, there is need to give more powers to the state government. If the state government are not given more power, our case will be like that of a toddler that will go to the mom every time for the breast milk. More powers need to be given to the, the state government for us to develop. Even the president of the country, it is very sad that the president of the country himself said he didn't believe in restructuring. It is very sad. Because as a people, the only way we can develop, the only way we can move on is for more powers to be given to the state government. By virtue of Section 3 of our 1999 Constitution, we have it there that Nigeria shall be a federation consisting of a state and a federal capital territory. But it is very unfortunate that despite the fact that our constituent has called Nigeria a federation, the political structure of the country is in such a way and manner that the country is practicing a unitary system of government where powers are concentrated in the hands of the federal government alone. This will not help us. One trouble with Nigeria is the agitation by some sets of people that they are being marginalized. I dare say that if powers are being devolved, if more powers are being given to the state government, the issue of marginalization we hear about every time will become a thing of the past. Because states by that time will develop at their own pace. States at that time will grow rapidly. And in fact, there will be a kind of healthy competition among the states. When you see your sister state growing rapidly, you will have the need to also imitate your sister state. The powers that have been concentrated in the hands of the federal government alone in the country is one of the reasons why we are here. It's one of the reasons why the country is not progressing. It's one of the reasons why we are not moving. The structure has been bastardized. The structure, the structure is not good enough for us to develop. What we have to do as a people is to ensure that the powers in the hands of the federal government is being given to the states. The powers in the hands of the federal government is too much. Let's, let me give an instance. Some states in the north, alcohol is prohibited. It's outlawed. 
drinking a whole republic is outlawed. In some states in the north, smoking cigarettes in public is prohibited, is outlawed, is unlawful. But in Lagos State, for example, millions of Naira have been remitted to the account of the federal government on a monthly basis. But at the end of the month, all states of the federation will run to Abuja to get their own share of the national cake. How do we divine it justice more than that? If more powers are given to states, the states will develop rapidly. There will be the noise, should I call it noise now, of, ag of, um, of agitations, of marginalizations, we hear on a daily basis, we become a thing of the past. Because all what they need is in their hands. Let the power be given to the states and let's see the country develop. Now, the third issue we are looking at is how do we agitate for restructuring beyond electioneering agenda? The fact is, the only way the country can get restructured is through the law. And that will be done by the National Assembly. As, and will be, the policies will be carried out by the executive. The truth is, we need cycle of hands on the table to ensure that well-meaning citizens of Nigeria get to the National Assembly to make good laws for us. Is it the, the Senate where we have stealing of maize, where we, we, the politics of suspension, using the instrumentality of law to, 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 to bitter their members, that they are, they are not too serious enough to make the laws that will bring about restructuring in the country. So, for us to have a restructured nation, the National Assembly must make laws. Our constitution must be amended because it is our constitution that has given so much power to the federal government. So, if you want to, if you want to progress, if you want to move more than this, what we need to do is to ensure that our representative in the Senate and the House of Representatives make meaningful laws that will reflect our expectation of restructuring. I say that Nigeria is a risk unless it finds the courage to restructure, to restructure. I say again that Nigeria is a risk unless it finds the courage to restructure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Festus Ubu. That's another perspective from one of the youths in Nigeria. Please put your hands together for RMO Oludotun Hassan. Mudupefun Bobo Ijokoi. Papa Julo, Adepefun Ledu Mari. Tomu Ojoini Wasi Mushe. Um, Orukote Mini Barrister Oladotun Hassan. Emini Arekbefun Yoruba Council of Youth Worldwide. Afi eni se ranti eni rewa dipo famakiwa ide yi ni pe won fi ohun telele won fi ohun amuyan gan ti gbogbo an ri ta fi le so pe won ti se idaji inu ise ti gbogbo wa joko si bi bayi leni an lara idaji eni pe don commission is the way to go. We've been clamoring for restructuring, demand for devolution of powers, and yet, since 1960 to date, we are still under the same dungeon. Why are we in this same situation? As far as we are concerned, Gegebi Orole Yoba, Kuponorowa, in Ulelowa. When we are talking about restructuring, how much more do we find time to really restructure ourselves within the southwestern region, whereby most of our governors don't really see education as priority, where clamor for agriculture and economic empowerment is not really feasible as far as we are concerned. These are variables 
that if we go deeply, gege bi nse ro pe atun to inu le gongon lo koko se pataki ka to bo so de lo so pe afelo bear national restructuring because the present government that is in power today having assured more on change mantra but yet all his promises on devolution of power which is the key fundamental on the first list of their manifesto is now a failed promise and there is no way we should be rest assured that they will deliver that to us in within this administration no at all no matter how our clamors are we need to find better alternative and most implementative alternatives and that is why i want to firstly inform that the youth themselves needs to be more courageous in taking the battle by themselves in fighting for this restructuring demand and in doing this we need to firstly see a more scientific approach in getting to the drum beat in achieving this tax and that is why i've really mentioned earlier that we need to call our governors together they need to be very serious about our demands we've had the done commission how much of our demand can we be able to fester in ensuring that the Dunn Commission becomes a Southwest Development Commission. How much more can we be able to invest our time in ensuring that we have more derivables income from the Southwestern Development Commission, just as the Northeast was given a clean bill of health and whereby the Southeast was shut down. We need a regional uh, um, um, uh, development commission as one of our solutions we cannot get restructuring as a dash we, it is not under uh, under meters risk it requires a long-term planning but we need to have the immediate plans and that is why i would like us to really see more into how much we can activate these old demands how best can we be able to sell this idea how best can we be able to kill the 1999 constitution and have a people's austerities constitution that emanates from us that we understand the language and tenets of our laws? Why do we have a law that the market woman does not even know the content of those constitutions? It becomes worthless. We need laws that are profitably imitable for generation now and the year to unborn. And that is why the, the light of our law, we are able to lay the foundation of the 1963 constitution. For us to get it right, we need to really bring together all these laws, the 1963 Constitution, part of the CONFAB report in, uh, 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 that was started over in the recent time, and our own native intelligence. If we can be able to bring all this together, I believe strongly that we have the world without in Southwest to develop at our own pace. Let nobody be, 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 be too much amused or be too much in a haste. Restructuring journey is not a journey of a one year. It's going to require us to lay the foundation. And what we have to do now is to start from the angle of preparedness, from the angle of going further to believe that Ile Yoba, Ati Koya, Iyato Timba Wafira, Otipe, Bubu Nkomba Yi, Ni Arun, Taba Duro, Taba Duro Shinshin, Ninu Shokon, because it's Shokon. Nikon Lule Jeki Ari Atunto Ile Nigeria. But at the moment, um Kosiba FSO ah the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria today. Because the constitution that we are running on did not emanate from you and I. So far that is a a a, a, a trumpeted rule. Kosiba Fekwe Bao Lashima short of Yi down and for us to have a new people's constitution, we start now. And we have to start with our state assembly on how they can begin to have state independent constitutions. If you have a state independent constitution, that will now unite our issues more conscientiously. Then we now need to have the regional treaties. We cannot have a regional laws without we understanding the tenets of how we need to govern ourselves. Governing ourselves requires a lot of approaches, and that is why. These are fundamentals that we need to, to, de to decide. We need to shut down the exclusive list, which is more criminating. We need to see how much we can break the norm of this militocracy that we found ourselves. 
except we decide, except we take the bull by the horn, except you and I is prepared to answer that question. Peshe affair atunto, abi affair ya. Eyi peni no konu no mejeji. Ola ma fowo mu. Shuboni temi o mu koya. Yoruba koya. Eshe go. Oshe o arema oludo tun Hassan. Olori igbe mado Yoruba lagbaye mu. Feki uh, Amufinwa ni Yakintola Kwamu uh, Oronyon Juno Afunwa Efwa Late Wow Ekuleo Ekuleo uh, I'm here deliberately to honor our departed friend and brother, Dick of Famakiwa. But I'm going to depart uh, briefly from the norms. Uh, there was a saying by our referred leader, Uncle Bola Ego, blessed memory. You don't serve meal. You don't get a meal from the oppressor on a plot of gold. The only language understood by the oppressor is not appeasement, but confrontation. Any tea of any alo wrong? I bet can you grab answer? Because the alo told you, if any tea of any So the only language understood by the oppressor is confrontation. At least in present to all my compatriots, speak about Devolution of powers, restructuring. Restructuring is the mantra of the Anafe Southwesterner. It is what we believe in. And our forefathers have been the vanguard of that for over six decades. If you have read the works of Chifu Aolo and Rivard Bolaige, you will come across that there. They've set the agenda for us. For those of you who still believe, so much in the corporate system of this country. I, say, I wish you good luck. But I know that the present structure cannot sustain this country for another 25 years. It is practically impossible. The world is becoming a neighborhood. It's no longer a, a, a global village. And everybody is becoming a local champion. The so-called civilized world like Britain. Britain today is more or less a federation. On paper, it is a new unitary state. But today, it is more or less a federation. When the first referendum was conducted, whether this court should go or not, they got 19%. The second one gave them 45%. I bet you they dare not try the third one. Today, because the Englishman is very wise, he put in place, within two, two weeks during the campaign, they put in place certain parameters for the Wales and the Scots. Today, the Wales have their own parliament, they have their own judiciary, they have their own uh, civil service. So also are the Scots. Today, Britain is more or less in federation. Nigeria is the only federation in the world with a unitary police. Even the state of Britain that is unitary in form has many police formations and organizations. In the United States, after the last count, they had 17,000 plus police formations, including universities and our institutions. Each of them has recognized by the state. That was their own police formation. For those of you who still believe so much in the corporate state of this country, you have to appreciate one thing as a Yoruba man that you are so blessed. You take a look at the geography, the map of Nigeria. Because many of us don't un understand the political and geographical arithmetic of Nigeria. If you are a Yoruba man, you take a look at the map. Yoruba land is the only zone that has access to the sea and land border. Look at the map. You have the longest coastal line from Badagri to Ibotako in those states. 
you have the longest border line from Elisha Baruba to Badagri. Many of you don't even know where Elisha Baruba is located. And here you are a Yoruba man. Many of you don't know where Gokwe is, where Goho is, where Kishi is. And when you look at that, the south-south has access to the sea, no land border. The southeast is landlocked with very small land mass. Between Asaba and Enugu, it's a distance of 72 kilometers with three state capitals. It's not up to one local government in your state. And when you look at the, the land mass of Nigeria, on your state alone is 28,000 plus. That is more than 23,000 of the southeast. The entire southeast. On your state alone, the land mass of your state alone is more than the entire southeast land mass by over 5,000. So when you look at that, keep that at the back of your mind. Now, for the north, they have access to land border. No access to the sea. So that is why everybody now wants to live and die in the southwest. They all want to come here, live here, and die, possibly seize your land from you. And that is where, for those of us who believe so much in the Dawn Commission, we need to give the Dawn Commission every support. The labor of our heroes past must not be in waste. When Bolaige was advocating for integration, he never knew that Nigeria came to this sorry state. We are in a very terrible position now in the country. For those of you who still believe, I repeat, everybody is now becoming a local champion. I, I went for IPA conference in October in Australia. You won't believe it. The Aborigines are coming back to take their lands after over 2,500 years of evacuation. They are coming back to ask for their lands. If you lose touch with your root, you will regret it. For, for those of you who think you can, once you are, you can't, there's no way. If you are staying in a place for 1,000 years, that doesn't make you an indigenous of the place. The problem with many of us is that we don't read. In 1973, when some of us were still in primary school, there was a madman called Idi Amin. He came around, he, he came around, and he came heavily down on the British Asians. After 650 years, they were all evacuated. And if you are still in doubt, let us look at the contemporary development now. Look at what is happening in Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwe farmers. After almost 700 years, the British farmers. What are they doing now? They have been evacuated. After over 700 years. If we get to that in Nigeria, so it is high time we all look inward and embrace the commission. To God be the glory, the Dawn Commission has come to stay. It will outlive many of us. By the special grace of God, the ideas, the ideas propounded by Bolaige, for those who have made it part, their pastime to castigate of Bolaige, they should be told that there are millions of Igates now. They should be told in clear and loud language that what we are witnessing today in the Dawn Commission was the brainchild of Bolaige. That was the brainchild of Bolaige. He had written about it. He had postulated it. And when you look at what is happening today, the Southwest is the only region that has peace, that people want to live in. Everybody wants to live and die in Lagos. Why? Bolaige left, Tinubu took over, and laid the foundation. Today, many of you don't know that that bridge that linked Admiralty to Ikoyi was not controlled by the federal government. It was controlled by the state government, Lagos State. Lekki was opened up by Lagos State government. And the template that was laid in Lagos is what has been adopted by the various western state governments. When you look at the road construction, you see that it's the same pattern. Today, Ogo State is the second largest anna of IGR. Thank God again for Don Commission. That now, what all Ogo State did was just to key into the pattern set up by legal state. And Ohio State is doing, what, is doing the same now. If you look at Lagos State by the express road, 33 kilometers of that road belongs to Ohio State. So all Ohio State is doing now is to key, it will repl replicate what Ogo State is doing. From Shagamu to Bega, there is no vacant land. All 
what Augustus did was to key into that and start from the coming boom of Lagos. Why is it like that? Why are people rushing here? There's going to be demographic changes in the southwest. And you must get ready for that. I'm happy my brother, the youth leader, was here this morning. I was go and get prepared. He who wants peace must be ready for war. He who wants peace must be ready for war. I repeat. I said this to Ghani Adams. That enough of Agbada wearing and uh, uh, walking stick and this thing. Our youth must be ready. We knew what we did during the Nadeko era. Uncle Wajabababi is here. We knew what we did under the control of Uncle Bolaige. We knew what we went through. The young ones was, are not willing and ready to make any sacrifice. No wonder the president made the statement he made about the youth two days ago. We must put on our thinking caps. Let us cooperate with done commission. Our governors have been very... Anybody who think our governors are not doing a lot to pay a visit to the southeast and south-south. You come back and give our governors a medal. So we are to go to the airport one day. And we said, look, if any of these governors come from the southwest, they would have been burnt by now with their families. Uh, we don't appreciate what we have. But there are rooms for improvement. All we need to do now is to put on our thinking cap. Whosoever has one or two ideas to put across to the commission should do that. And we cannot be pre preaching against imperial imperialism as, and be perpetrating the same here. Aye, Baba Sakwe Tikojao, Baba Sakwe is gone. But like a liberated many youths. So Aye, Baba Sakwe, Otikoja, and don't share anything. What belongs to all must be seen by her. A time has gone past when some people, two, three people will gather and say, I will, we are speaking for you. No, 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 no. The man from Shaki must be contacted. The man from Medem must be contacted. The man from Ibotako must know. Now that somebody will say that in Abekuta, or Lagos or Ijebu, I'm saying, no, no, that will not be acceptable. I was at the National Conference. But it's that they led the show, and I led the your state. And they were subsumed under the same moment, under me, and they knew what we went through. We will not take another new colonialism from anybody. The youth and the Thai Yorubaris must prepare for what is coming up. This country cannot last for another 25 years. Quote me that I say so, unless we change the structure. So what I'm saying in essence is that if you want to research on it, ask for self examination. You are to have a jail for error at the new Agoko Bailey. Who are a jackafuni if we are so don't stop all this. We have been on this for over 60 years. Research only, research only, research only. Young as I am, I've attended more than 20 conferences in this hour over the issue of research only. A jackam have been at a better for our own pay to one for any good affair. Let us go back to our library and read. Go and read the works of Bolaghi and Awolowo on what a federation should be. You appreciate better the point you have been making. Thank you very much. I hope I have not bored you. Eshegonyo. Oloye, Oloye. Eh, Alaji, Adeyemo, I want to Alaji, I want to I want to about the food stuff sellers association bodyga eka san o eyin ya wa eyin baba wa odudu o ni baje o lori nti won ni ka soro lo ti opolopo eyan tin soro le lo lata ro kini an pe mi do instruction eyi ni atuto sugar kini kan mo ko fe biyawa awa yo ba na la ma so pe ile lati ku eso ro de a ri pe ninu opolopo oro ti awon eyan ba wa so a ri pe ara e a so oro lori oro ti to omo wa sugbon ngba ti o ri pe opolopo awon wa bere si soro nsin a ri pe ile yoba o la wa sugbon yi bo la ri po poju ko si je ko ri be o ta ba de le awusa awusa nu o bi bara awon soro ni ru awujo bai ibu to ba je pele ibo na the same thing ni o sele ki se pe opolopo awon ta wa bi ki se pa agbo yibo sugbo ye ki awa gan gan ka gbe si ka gbe si awa laruge ejo eje ka se atuse o eh atuto ti awa nso e odo wa gan gan la tutu wa ta ba ni ka wo ye 
bi awon baba wa laye ejo won ana ba se bere won se to da sugbo opolopo ntan se ngba na oni koko to nbe leju ara kini ta ba ni ka wo ni ru ibada wa nbi a to ka si liberty stadium a to ko a to ka si television akoko ni le africa ara ru e oni mo po hall atopolopo baba si dun ka lo si awon ilu mi ta ba lo si kene a ri ti rubber gbogbo awon nkan bayi a ri pe gba to je pe nkan bayi gbogbo e o jo ohun olofisi nje ni isin nje ru e wa mo bi ko si mo gege bi oro lo o ni wo gbo nkan pada si pile bi nkan o ba pada pile nkan o le to seri ara nti mo fe pe wa le lori e ri pe opolopo awon to n dara bi dara 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 se re pe ta ba ni regional police nje ru o wa ye bi ogbo nta nso ni pe to wo nigeria kaluku won le se nto wu won nje aru agbara tan lo nja wa le lo bi bi mo an lo gege bi asa won won o gbe bada ni won o mu koda ni nje ta ba ni lo ti wa si won o ni pe wa ni apa ayan o mo ma won eyan yi e da kun e gbo ati e nte je olori wa e je ka se atun se pa pa ju lo e to wa je papa nbari e gbo awon ta je ge bi asoju wa emi fe be won i o gboru restructure ta wi yi odo won lo ti le bere o bi won ba ta fu pe n ta fe se o la fe se a se latari pe gba ti ba ti da oro yi kale ti o gbo won ta ba jade won o beru wa e je ka se akesi ti eh baba wa biola nigba to je pe o dide jo kini ana lati le je pe ki nigeria ma ku wele wele e wo run ta fi mu wa bale ebi baba wo ba sojo ibo na nu wa pada fi se olori a ri pe bi wo ba se ngba na won ri pe to yoruba ati fe yari ni di ele emi ro wa ogun ta npe di sojo odo wa ni e da ko ejo to ro lo mo fa koko e mo fi be wa baba fe ki ilu ida odo wa ni o bi o ba si ni ida odo wa ni o e je ka ro gbo awon oloseni wa pata pata mo ba ti de eh business ni o bi rep ni o ko je pe to ko won ja ti wa oni won lo ja lohun opolopo won igba ba ti dohun ta ra won na ndu o du ta ra wa o e da pojo to ro lo mo pe wa e je ki a be won ko je pe ko se ti wa gbo awon nkan bayi ohun lo le je gege bi nti o je gege bi way forward fu wa ta le je pe nkan nkan bayi ko se se mo ro wa olohun ni jo baje o nigeria ni baje o o dudu wa ko ni baje o e se o e se mo dupe ba wo won late wo awon lo fe da soro yi o ejo o e da so o gbogole eyin baba mi eyin iya mi mo ki o oruko mi ni ko mri ye kini aba asade mi ka owe agba fun egbe nata ni oyo state e ko o a ta ba soro atun tu atun tu atun tu gbugbu eni won ti so sugbon awa na o le duro nbi ka na mo ri eyo kan bi meji ka fi kun onti emi o ba gba awon olori wa abi gbogbo wa ni imaransi oni eto eko won ni ile ti abanko ta si ko mo won lo mo na ni o pada fa ile on ta mo ran ti ni awon asuko nigbati an gbe awon mo totun 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 ti an gbe wa ta wo si fi kose awa ri awon mo egbe wa ti won ba awon mo to ni mo to je tori won pe oyibo kan ni ignorance ai mo kan mo kan ni awon eyan wa fi n ba mo to yi je awa to awon onile se aje nlanla ato won lo mo wa bere si si awon idan leko idan leko idan leko fun awon megbe wa lowo lowo leni gbugbo awon megbe wa yi ni ele da mo to yi si lai ba hello lai duro ti won won le da awon mo to yi si ti a ba ni eto to pe ye won ni education is a legacy iyan to da duro iru bi ti awa yi teyin o ba ka we o se se ko mo le ran so iwe dara pupo ju ejo eyin olori e ba ni se eto eko ti eko ba wa iyan laya lati soro tori gbogbo to ba so ajododo a de ni riri ko ni ba je o 
dupe aja yi gbade bo ni oruko mi aku atoto nu li ati aro but quickly i must congratulate the organizers of this program this is a terrific way to remember an astute yoruba person i think you've done very very well uh, back to restructure inu mi dun gbogbo lecture ti mo ti gbo lati aro lati orisirisi orisi suggestion kan ti restructure je won de dago all the contributors have contributed something significant i don't have a copy of the program but i think the, the theme is something like ending the talk and to start the work something like that I think in the last three, four, five years or so, no crescendo, no discourse has reached, reached a higher crescendo than restructure. Everybody in Yoruba land seems to be aware that we want restructuring. Majority of Yoruba people, we want restructuring, which is fine. But I'm just wondering, is anybody working on how we are going to achieve restructuring? Yes, you see, by going through the next general elections and hope that the new president will be nationalistic enough as to want to enthrall the structure as suggested by the spokesperson of the youth who was in the first panel, or is it through our current National Assembly, whose posture, posture of many of the members, do not even reflect anything restructuring? Or is it through civil disobedience? Please, can somebody tell us? Is anybody working on how to achieve this? One of the discussants earlier suggested that we could have a referendum. Yes, fine. How do we even sit down to plan the referendum? How do we achieve this territory? Let's begin to work the talk. Thank you very much. Youth Empowerment Initiatives. On to sele ni yuke Yoruba. Ade ori iwa. Bi inka o se ni yon. On to sele ni yuke on kati se ori le de Nigeria. On le fi rito fi indra gudu gudu. Bogbo e fi bere si ni daru benye. E wa gudin ti ya. A pata wa fun wani. Ni tori ni pe nti won wi gan gan loro. O nta joko si bi tan se. Ah, ni di lati sese ma analyze problem, gbogbo wa lati mo problem to nbe nle. Gbogbo wa la mo nti ri so so ba duro boto na wo la fi fe achieve e. O n gan gan ni ipade yi dale lori. Ka gba yi mo na, ba wo la se fe se akoko. Gbogbo awon lo se luwa ta ran lo sibe. Awon omo legbi ma so fin agba. I want senator at the House of Rep. In Jagobo one, Jati Kawesi one, if I padeta seloni, or Yaka Koywe, Kaja de Kalu communicate. To Buja Avi, Kanaza, or my leg, we must of any be by. Was a bell, Leko, was a bell, Logu. Ibi ti won ba ti nle oje o oju ba do ko ni won fi n gbo mo lowo eku ro sugbon o to ro bi so ku so lo ma ri o when we are not ready to fight i doubt it a gbodo gbiyanju ka mura re sile ta ba wa fe jarara iwo de ta gbangba la la fi anko o ijo melo teyin baba wa ti organize e de ri o ijo ba ta nlo lowo lowo yi o ti disarm our youth want to disarm they are the one to the i want to disarm wa e ko wa won ma ma fa le ni then ki do de ti yoruba fi ki gbe atunto idi ta fi ki gbe atunto ni wi pe adara wa loju a mo wi pe a to gba ngba sun ninu oye a mo wi pe reunion yi ohun lo nfa wa seyin a mo wi pe ta ba kuro laarin apo eyan won yi laarin ogun odun won mo wo wa lo ni won ti wo wa beeri won ti wo wa beeri Obogbon ni won fi fa education yin seyin en to ba omo to ba jade lati not won ni ninu 400 to ba ti mu 100 si wa 20 o ti wole ibe la won omo ti wa ni bi bayi won de ni 260 300 won ri university wo eri nkan e ma wo ile television e ile yoruba lo ni 
awa ni akoko ninu gbogbo alawo dudu palapata ni isin bayi ijobo o ke ti gbasele en uch o nbe nbe mi fe kin de na penu sugbon sa won ti gba sa ti de lowo wa won ti fun wa ni sunday o nta wa le se ohun ni pe eyin iya mi eyin baba mi to ba ti di agogo meje ni jo monday eje ka pade loke mapo o eje ka ko akole wa da ni pe an fe instruction ka wa mo to bo ba ba ti e ti le lo abuja ni baba wa e mobilize wa to rowo ni won fi se protest o laisi owo protest o le se se e mobilize wa ka ti e wa si le gbima so fi fi lasan ka wa to ko be e je ki won mo kini se ti won se nbe iru eleyi o ye ti wa nbe won si nbe ti won ba wa se e je ka mu we lo ba won ka gbe igbese loni nitori wi pe ola le peju yoruba e se o oya oya mo nbo e ba mu fun ogbe ni osun loye to ba ti se to mo nbo lodo yin mo ki gbogbo ijoko ejo ise kileti o osun loye loruko mi mo fara mo awon eyan meji to soro siwaju mi afikun kekere ti mo fe fi si ni pe ibo to nbo ni waju ki se president nikan la ma bere lowo e eni ti o ba ti faramo restructure ti o faramo atuto e ma je ka dibo fun won awon ta ma dibo fun awon ti won so wi pe atunto won mo o ja won logun ohun la won ma se eni keni iba se president o iba se governor ti o ba faramo atunto e je ka e je e ma je ka dibo wa fun won e se e se mo dupe o agbegoya 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 mo ki gbogbo wa fun dede wo yi eh on padu wo atunto 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 obe lati nu le wa ida small organization medium or large kaluku yo mo bi o se se kan re ni ni igba igbe from the time in memoria awon kan ngba ti adebi yusufa to lala bi pe bi won se nse ijoba ni ilu igba na bi pe ki won mu on je ki won toju e mo ni lati yi pada yi pada la le pe ni atoto o na da won we call it reorganization ti department ka ba wa ti olori ibe ti won ri pe o tun wu lo fun bomi won a gbe ku o nbe won a gbe lo si bomi but ba o ni atoto ti ti a wa wa nle ni odo wa e ba o lo se fe to wa lowo o be la to ri politics o se lu ta nse ngba te ni kan ba de a mo bo se je na ya ba ti fun awon ko kan ni elo kan won ba lo yi o ko re si en to ye ki won o mu ai lati mu eni ti o ni otito to wa to de wa brief to ni aya to ni boya ti o se pe odun meyin to ba lo ni legun ma sofin ati eni gbon gan kan eni ni o mo rin eni ni o mo rin nbe so en to ba ni boya to si ni otito pelu iberu lohun eni eni ke ka ma yan tori pe oni o mo fi se wa je lohun en jo yo ni education to si da da eyan en lati ni eko tori en ti o ni eko ko si mo ni yan si bi to dara nbe so ti ri oju se si atunto ta n pariwo fun e je eyan obe ya tori oselu wa ki awon eyan wa ki a yan eni to ba da en to lodi to eni si ti an ba pe fertilizer wa nsi ki n lo ko na rebu ko mo pe fertilizer fa awon to wu awon agbe ni eni fertilizer dokeji ti an ba pe fertilizer ni ipade oloselu bori jale ba ti won mo ta ti ba won agbe ni an ni fertilizer so olohun ko njo ba je awon baba wa ti ja furu eri ni aye baba wa tafa agbekoya ati awon ojo ba nse bi o se ri bi o se to won ni lati kura awon ojo ni le to ni to ni le yoruba won si jagun na ti won si seri te gu fun won atunto awa na e je ka jade e je ka laya gbogbo awon eyan wa e ma fi tesin se esin da esin yo gbe wa de alujan na o otito yo gbe ade alujan na o mi nkan bile ati an ba yin ba oke ni isin kaluku ni otori babi aga awon kan be ti won si duro e ma fi ti esese e ma fi ti ti wese 
mbata wa nlewe eyin baba wa ti gbogbo ba ndaru mo mo pe wa ni togi ati ti togi o anja fun eto wa ni student union ngba na so ko olohun ko ba se ko ni daru o oro ti mo fe so yi mo fe ki ke list ke gbo emeni chief imam yoruba from leilon en to ba je chief imam yoruba ni lorin o na ni chief imam yoruba general nile yoruba tori ilorin ni esin ti wa asiko te ka ma kijimo fa won yan ni mo wa du lati fe ki ngbo nti ababo akoko nu ese te ese wa ko ara ti kogi ko sinu agenda yin o do mi pupo ago mewa mu ti debi mi o to wa kijimo nitori tin yin so tin ba wa dele tin ba wa fi we han won won wa ni ku ara ti kogi ko si nbe local government tin be ni kwara state 16 yo ba ni 12 so awa ta wa je yo ba ta wa wa ni kwara o e recognize wa pe yo ba ni wa e recognize wa e ina odua ni wa ina odua ni wa kwara si ni problem ti bere igba ta ti pa afanja ti kaluku ti da ke pe ko si to ka won mo ipe afanja e ma ba won yi pelu ile north ibe ni problem ti bere ibe la won fila ni tin wo ile yoba le yo kokan le yo kokan le yo kokan to bi di pe won ka kiri gugu leto te ba fe pa na ogun afi ka para si lorin ka le emi a lorin fulani ka le para si sokoto ka ni boundary wa ni jeba jeba si lorin 170 kilometer ni si lorin wa te ni ko wa lati sokoto ti o ma claim o si lorin bo lo nile ikan te ka mojuto a mojuto ko si problem le yo ni bi lo titi ilorin ni problem ti be ibe la n fla ni wa ibe le ka face ka jagun be ka gbagbara be ka ba gbagbara be awa so si di esin ta fi ru wa loju o le mo ninu islam won da won da gogo system wa ru gbogbo omo yo ba tele anje adewu mi Adelaja Adebowale Omo Bowale Bukola Okota Njelu won de de won ni ka ma joko muslim won ni ki lo ko muslim ti wo ma je won ni ki wo ma je muftao inu ro wa do yo ni muftao la ni hun en te ri ro pe iwo nko iwo to jo berin ki lo ko re ah anti ajara le mi o ajara ajara nba ti mo wa dari saudi arabia de mo lu odun mesan lati mo ima ede arab lati le ko lati le ka ti la ba aba jo fe se ara wa in we in we ni won bi istiklal bi bas ila sarat min ayat la fi kun wa ma ti ku bena imal jala fi ko ide min lemsa le kul ma ya salawat la ru fa kul fi itma di tafkiri an yatafakkar satiyat alika le kun wa li lay le si arajani min nasa bi yoruba wa daras fi ko ba ni yoruba wa nasitu min suru bi yoruba fa tabarakalla asan ni yoruba Anti ajara so mo ti mo ko re olohun mo oku ta lo nje won si ni ka ma je be eh iwo ko oni mo futa wu lo nje kini tu mo futa wu lede la ba ngba ti o ma kokoro ta fi si lekun inu re si ndo so awon fila ni ti wo do wa won change gbogbo won ri pe ani kan to da ninu esin won gba lo wa won ni ka ma jo ko muslim so ko muslim na de je ninu na le nje osila inu te te do ati wo osila yo wa fe yin aga ta won ne pa fi go aga so iwo nko are eko mr ruler ta fi wa fun la e lo nje so gbogbo kini about 2 or something ni o ko ti mo condemn ni islam ta la wan nje because won mo pe o ko te nje ye o ko ye da ta ma pe ni adewu mi o ko to re wa ni o na la on la ba wa nje ni saudi arabia tori pe in to pa wa ko pelu saudi nkan meji na ni king saudi arabia oba lade won pe won so pe emir of saudi won so pe sultan of saudi ibo won na ti wa wa ni qur'an ke o ma je emir so lo na lo so lo qur'an pe e ma je emir e ma je sultan ibo lo ti wa ni qur'an iro tan pa fun yin lu won wa we lawa ni bi awon ti mo to gba lawa ni bayi because kini tu mo lawa ni Question Lawani ede la ba wa ni kini tumare oni ala amaimu 
lawa ni ta ba da ko ama imu wa ni lawa ni o na pe ni ama imu ko wa se ni to le wa nu wa ati le ausa ton wa ni kilo ko mo ti e ti o ni ama imu ni lawa ni le mo je ama o ko ti wa adeni crown o ni ale musawamat adatu muluku arafikiya ta fi nda o ba le aba awon fi pe wa ni adewu mi adesi na awa le ko mo ti wa na de awon o le ko mo ti won lawa ni so ba se short ni so the reason why e ja mo to ro lo ri Secretary Wani ni Afeni Ferry Renewal Group ajo wa ni Jeba ni 28 oba Jeba emi alori ni kolo timole Yes governor wa were se ni president area ti daru bukola Yes So what your balade mole ipe o pere ni oba lade won si timole awon governor si dake awon chama secretary wa lo wa wa si Jeba about 150000 naira na for bajeba ni february so e ka moju to boundary wa afeni fere renewal group ise tan se nu eyin agbekoya mo ti pe oga yin asoro lale ona so won la won lalejo e mura soro lorin ise to kunu o pisida omo tin koja mi le mi rada e dide soke kiri soke nda re gafu yi o du animi Mole ah toka toka la so mole fara babon e du toka toka la mbio kin je toka toka o du animi eh eh emura emura sise awon fila ni ti wo wa o won ti wo wa dada gbogbo esin ta se fe paro na nu olorun je o daru fu wa o asiri wo je ni tu a de leke ma pada si lori nisin olorun fi so re so wa e te pada se ko olorun fi so re so wa subhanahu rabbika Abili sati ya maya sifuni Assalamu alaikum salini alhamdulillah Salla alaikum kerim Eje ba wo wa la te wole kan si o E se un pupo o E won ni ka fi tu awon eyan wa leti pe awon ara ku ara won wa nbi leni o Sugbon won ni e isoro die wa lo na e ona oni dimo wa o won ni ona yen o da bi pe moto kan se ba kan sa won wa tete gbera kon le tete pada si lorin sugbon awon eyan wa ni lorin an ba won se o awon eyan wa ni kogi an ba won se sugbon a gba pe le seju ba se nse ilo olorun aran gbogbo wa lowo so adupo lowo olorun nkan to nkan fe fi kun gbogbo oro ti a tin so lata aro ko olorun ko fun wa se ejo e je ki gbogbo wa ni lokan yi pe ise yi pe ilu igbese yi gbogbo wa lajo ma se Tori awon kan ni lokan yi pe ton ba so pe oya ka jade ka wa se ijangbara ka bi ka se iwode yi pe o di gba ton ba fun awon lowo ta ba nde royin a ni se nkan o e gbo nkan ti baba to soro sin so o leni kan ngba to lo sibe iye to na awon na won sise ni kan won to royin ta na ba mu bi 500 naira 200 naira 1000 naira lati fi se ton ba lo ya ka jade ka ba so pe o di gba ti enikan ba fun wa lowo ko to pa ma je iyen lo ma mu ki ise yen ko ro run lati se olorun aran wa lowo olayin ka gbo ola loruko mi won pe mi ni mr parrot mo fe ki ki awon to ti soro si waju mi leyin ni amo ibi temi ati wa fe yapa die ni pe mi mo gbagbo wi pe ta ba nsoro restructuring restructuring nkan emi ro pe o ye ka koko gbara wa dina egbon mi ayo afolabi wa ni bi yi tin ba soro omo lu abi won mo nkan ti mo nso eje ka koko gbaruku ti bi a o se mu ki gbogbo awon eyan awon mo ta nbi ni sin awon awa na ba se eh embrace that particular word called omoluabi ta ba ti di omoluabi ton da da ta ba wa se restructuring ton ba gbe gbogbo nkan ta fe fun wa a le ma da da ko ni si pe eh le kini ko le eyan kan to ba ya e ma ni badan nikan na gbe governor fun lawyer state e ma ni oke ogun nikan na gbe governor fun everybody abere bo to omoluabi ba ti wa a mo ba je pin ti o ti o ni soju saju ta le se ijoba wa da da e se mo dupe o adupe bi tolorun a lowo de leni o afemu apejo wa iwa si opin 
Adupe lawo Olorun gbogbo awon to wa adupe lawo yin o e je ka dide ka ko orin le Yoruba Oya o ise wa fun le wa fun ile ibi wa ka gbe ga ka gbe ga Kagbega fayeri Iba kwa wani kwe Ba shiberu la boma Kashishe, kashishe, kashishe kajola Isha kwa ato mi Mira, mira, jeka malikwa, tesi waju fa kwa ire, ato unto dara, ama odu wadi de, basi ko etore. Iwani imole Gogo adula wa Afeni fere Afeni fere Afeni fere Odu agbe wao